Good day everybody and welcome back to DX Explorer for one more video. In the today's video I'm going to show you my brand new antenna tuner that I just built. Um, all homebrew, uh, you'll see in a little bit, <laughs> very homebrew. Um, I've been gathering parts to build this one for quite a long time. It's been sitting on my table for nearly a year now. But uh, there was always something missing and now I finally got all the parts and I put it together. It works really nice. but. Um, First, let's start with the parts list and then we're going to talk about the schematic and show you um, how I built it on the back side because it's not as pretty um, and then test it and see how it performs. Uh, the components are quite simple, some uh, enamel copper wire that I will use together with a toroid to build the, the inductor. I, will, I have a switch with eight poles that would help me um, change the inductance then I have a variable capacitor uh, this one has a total capacitance on both gangs in parallel of uh, 220 picofarads I have it thanks to my buddy Nigel in New Zealand uh, because I want more capacitance I'm going to use a 220 picofarad capacitor in parallel with that one and also a switch that will help me um, put uh, the capacitor in the circuit or out of the circuit so I'll have a total capacitance of 440 picofarads then for the antenna input I will have a BNC uh, for the low impedance antenna and I have these two connectors for the high uh, impedance antenna and now we'll switch uh, that with uh, this switch um, this will help me put the capacitor and, uh, and the inductor into an L -net network or into a series network so it will let me tune both high impedance and low impedance another BNC for the input of the transmitter or the receiver and the switch will, uh, which will allow me to take this uh, whole little thing uh, that will help me see when the, the indicator uh, that will show me when the antenna is tuned or not and to put it in or out of the circuit and a PCB board and that's it these are all the parts um, I'm going to decide on the final layout that I'm going to place all the components in here drill all the holes uh, prepare this nice PCB board this will be put in a uh, wooden enclosure um, that I'm going to build afterwards and uh, yeah we'll be able to use it and test it and see how it works basically this is how it looks on the back side um, now I just have to uh, figure out how I'm going to uh, do all the connections conforming to the schematic uh, you will see it on the screen in a little bit uh, when I'm going to finish soldering everything and I'm going to explain all the connections right now uh, what I want to do is to actually solder all the ground connections um, from the connectors and whatever anything else I have to solder to the ground and after that I'm going to remove all the components and uh, put this uh, front panel in a beautification process and install everything uh, back together the final version and then um, start soldering uh, all the connections in here uh, connect the coils and everything and I'm going to explain that in a little bit just wanted to show you the process of how I'm uh, building this thing trying to also make it look nice but <laughs> to work as well hopefully it will go into work so any anyway um, let me just uh, start uh, putting things together here and I'm gonna come back with the finished uh, version and explain um, all the schematic then after that we're going to test it and see how it works alright so um, on the screen you can see the final schematic that I decided to use for the antenna tuner it's pretty simple um, very basic is nothing complicated um, here's how everything works so basically on the front panel I have the switch um, 
low impedance, high impedance. On low impedance, I have uh, basically a series network. It's the inductor in series with the capacitor going from the input to the output of the um, of the antenna tuner. If I have uh, high impedance, then it's going to be uh, an L network. So basically, it's the inductor going from the input to the output. And then somewhere in here, I have the capacitor after the inductor going down to the ground. Um, here's a switch, the additional capacitor. So as I was saying, I have 220 picofarads variable capacitor. Uh, with the additional capacitor switched in, I have 440 uh, picofarads. Um, then I have the S meter, the LED indicator uh, that will help me uh, see when the uh, tuner is uh, <laughs> performing uh, well and the uh, antenna is tuned with a switch in or out. Uh, this is the inductor switch. Uh, basically, it uh, starts with one microhenry and then it goes up all the way to 7.25 microhenry is the maximum value. Um, here is the antenna connector, uh, the BNC or the high impedance connector if I want to use a high impedance antenna and this is the connection that goes to the receiver or the transmitter. Now on the back side is not as pretty, <coughs> um, I built it in a rush, I don't have too much time but I'm pretty sure that after I put it in a box I won't get to see the ugliness that I've built here <laughs> but anyway is the switch that will um, change from high impedance to low impedance, the antenna connectors, variable capacitor, uh, this is the additional capacitor, switch in or out by this switch. In here I have the inductor with the 8 pole um, connector switch and basically the way I've built uh, the inductor um, coming from the, the switch that will um, switch in or out the S meter part which <laughs> this is the S meter part is the ugliest one uh, built it uh, Chinese style with a bunch of hot glue on it um, anyway um, so basically that line comes to the uh, to the input of the um, of the coil I have 16 turns and this will be about a micro Henry or just a little over one micro Henry and then I have uh, 18 turns then I have 20 uh, 24 26 uh, 30 35 and 40 so these are the um, the top points that I've that I've done to change the value as I was saying uh, the minimum inductance is one micro Henry um, from the input to the first tap. Then I haven't measured or calculated the rest of the taps, but basically it allows me to uh, tune pretty nicely. Um, and yeah, maximum value all the way at the end of the inductor it's about 7.25 micro Henrys. Now um, <coughs> here is the S meter it's basically um, <coughs> the four uh, no so, sorry three uh, 50 ohms resistors I have to change these two because the, the I think they're only half watt and I want uh, something bigger like this one um, this resistor yeah, I think it's one watt and I will replace these two um, and when I'm going to order some but these are the only ones that I had right now Initially I was thinking to build it without the S meter but I thought it would be a nice addition so I placed this one as well. I have a 100, uh, yeah, 100 nanofarad capacitor, uh, 1N4148 uh, diode, a 1 kilo ohm resistor. Um, if you're using a bigger um, LED I think you can use 470 ohms and uh, an LED and what else I have? Um, this is a T50-43 um, inductor, it has 5 turns on the primary and then a, a tap 
and then I continue um, with uh, 20 more turns so in total it has 25 turns with uh, a top of 5 turns so um, yeah it works really really nice and uh, yeah, now I'm going to have to build a nice uh, wooden enclosure for it and uh, <laughs> take it with me um, I found it very uh, useful um, since lately I started to move around a lot and I'm sometimes I'm taking the the Sputnik receiver with me um, but I can't take the antenna because it's hooked in the backyard so I'm taking a bunch of wire with me and I just threw in the tree but I couldn't tune anything properly and uh, yeah I thought that an antenna tuner could be useful and it would help me get some better signal so anyway let's uh, install it and test it on a pixie and see how it works here we have the pixie transceiver going through the antenna tuner out to my uh, n-fed wire um, half wave uh, n-fed wire antenna and uh, let's try to tune the pixie so if i'm transmitting you can see the red led of the pixie is transmitting uh, basically what I'm going to do now I'm gonna put the antenna into the uh, tuning but basically I'm switching in the, the S meter sorry for the noise really really bad connectors here I have to change these cables um, so yeah if I'm transmitting right now you see the LED of the of the S meter um, turning on. So uh, I'm going to try to switch uh, the inductor, the value of the inductor. So here it looks like it's the smallest value now I'm gonna uh, tune the capacitor trying to take that LED out completely and it's out if I if I uh, let's try to switch the capacitor Right now it's out completely, so I guess uh, the antenna is tuned properly. I'm just going to sorry, the signal is pretty loud right now. Um, I'm gonna show another example. Um, I'm gonna put the volume higher and. Basically, this, was, this would be out of tune. Sorry for my hand. Um, usually, that's how I'm doing it um, with the receiver, with the Sputnik. I'm just hearing the loudest noise, and I know that uh, <laughs> the antenna, the uh, tuner, it's uh, it's tuned properly. So yeah. Anyway, this is my my uh, brand new antenna tuner. It works really nice and uh, I can't wait to take it out uh, in the field because it's getting warm and I'm gonna see if I can uh, meet up with some uh, amateur radio friends and play around with a couple of the transmitters and transceiver transceivers that I've built and have some fun um, also um, I'm listening with the Sputnik uh, here and there um, on portable I'm also playing around with the uh, Michigan Mighty Might so yeah a lot of fun lately <laughs> and um, I'm keeping my eyes open for uh, for an exam date so I can go get my uh, ham radio license as well meanwhile um, I still have a lot of uh, work to do so yeah we'll see um, I'm going to post um, a blog post about the antenna tuner tomorrow uh, you'll have the detailed schematic in there and more explanation 
of uh, how I built it. Uh, I'm going to describe the S meter circuit and also the coil, the way I built it, all the drawings, all that you need, you'll be able to download in a PDF. Um, probably tomorrow evening I'm gonna post it. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I'll be back in two weeks from now uh, with uh, the Charles Kitchen receiver, the final version. And uh, after that, I have a uh, surprise for my buddy Nigel in New Zealand, who's been waiting for ages um, to do some uh, fun things on uh, FT8. So, until two weeks from now, 73, and have an amazing Five, rest of the week.